We set up WISE because there is so much data collected by the industry, in the environment. There is no such profile of scientists and engineers to take advantage of the vast amount of data being collected. So the idea with YCDT and specific education that we provide is that the students do not go into their specific topic in the first year, but they get this broad-based water and informatic education. This will set them up much better for the research and challenges that they have to solve throughout the four years of YCDT PhD. The best thing about working on the four-year PhD is that that additional year at the beginning really gives you a chance to understand your discipline and to approach things from different angles without the pressure of a three-year tight deadline looming in at you from day one. I applied for WISE as I saw an opportunity to move on from the work that I was currently doing uh, in a commercial environment and take the, the time and the funding to develop that into something which would help me progress my career in the long run. Uh, so the programme is really hard work, but it's been really exciting and really valuable as I've learnt about disciplines that I would otherwise not have encountered, in particular learning how to use uh, computer tools to plant water networks. Working with the YCDT cohort is more than just doing the work for the PhD. We also go out as a group, we've been out sociably, we go out walking, we go out cycling, and it's that kind of bond that's grown between us and that strength that hopefully will help our research in the future as well. Yeah, the fact that everybody's based in Exeter for the first year builds a really strong network. Um, and hopefully this will continue through our research. We're all working in similar areas, so it makes those connections that we can then use later on in the career. Last year I was working on my master's thesis and uh, reading papers by people like Wagner and Woods, and now I actually have the chance to work with those people. I'm hopefully going to improve the way we can currently model uh, river runoff uh, with the effects of climate change. It's going to change people's lives uh, because you obviously end up with stuff like uh, water safety. We can predict, uh, predict floods better and uh, improve our, our flood defenses, but also the other way around. If there's going to, going to be water shortages, it would be good to be able to predict them really accurately. We have to secure enough water for the population, but it's not just water for drinking. It is water for food production, it is water for energy generation, uh, lots of requirements. And again, the information and the data are the basis of understanding how we can achieve that security in all these areas.